Hey, this is Devin, and today I'm gonna go through the process of bringing in a morph target from 3D Studio Max into UDK and playing it through a matinee. So what we're gonna do is, uh, in 3D Studio Max, we're just gonna get a simple object, make sure it's got subdivisions and everything, and then uh, make a duplicate of it. Just shift and drag it out, make it a copy, and then just uh, warp it somehow. You could uh, use a wave modifier or just like move it around like this real quick. And uh, this object that you warped, you could place it anywhere in the scene, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna throw it over here for now. And on this one, what we're going to have to do is uh, add a morpher modifier. So in the search, just type in morph, and then you will find it. And right-click on this empty space, say pick from scene, and then click on the morph target that you want. So after that, you could play with this spinner and watch it tween through the two. So now you need to make a bone which is really tiny. You can just delete that tip, you don't need it. Alright, so we got a bone there. I'm just gonna increase this such like 10 so I can see it. Alright, select your your main mesh again and then add a skin modifier to it. And then in the skin modifier, you go down to the section that says bones, click add, and you should get a pop-up menu. Select your bone, mine is called bone one. So I select it. I select it and it pops up in this little menu down here. And that is all that we need for now. Uh, select select these two things, the bone and your, your main mesh. Don't select this one over here, just these two. And then go up here and say export selected. We'll call this uh, morph test. Make sure it's an FBX. Uh, make sure all these options are checked. Scroll down to animation. Make sure animation is checked, and make sure you have these deformation boxes checked. Hit OK, and then pop over into UDK. Uh, make a simple scene like I have here, just with a player start, a light, whatever, or you could just use the default scene, doesn't matter. Uh, import your, your FBX that you just exported. Make sure that it's a skeletal mesh and that you have these boxes checked. Import morph targets is very important. Select OK. And then once it's imported, you'll have these two objects. If you open up your morph target set, you can see a little preview here of the morph. Alright, uh, once you're done playing with this, you can exit out of here and create a new anim tree. Uh, call it tube tree, doesn't matter. Uh, and then click on this node right here. Um, click on your skeletal mesh in the content browser and scroll down to preview mesh list. Click the plus sign, unroll that. Uh, preview skeletal mesh, plug it in there, and then it should pop up in this window. Next, you need to select your morph target set, and scroll down to preview morph sets, and click the plus sign and plug it in there. Alright, now what you want to do is right click anywhere in this window, go into new morph node, say morph node weight, plug that into there, and a new morph node, morph node pose. 
plug that into there. Um, so if you scroll through this, it, nothing happens yet. Uh, first you need to go into here and name the morph name to be whatever you had it named in here. For me it's S, so I will call this S. And now I could scrub through and you could see it morphing. Another thing you could do in this node right here is you can change the weight. So like say I want it to be super intense, like 5, then I could scrub through and it'll be much more intense than uh, than it normally is. Uh, for now I'm just going to set it to 1. And make sure you give this node a name. Uh, you'll see why you need it in a minute. I will call this node morph controller alright I can close that select your skeletal mesh in the content browser and then in your viewport right click and say add skeletal mesh mat and you will pop that skeletal mesh up open up its properties by double clicking on it or hitting F4 um, and then unroll this skeletal mesh actor, skeletal mesh component, skeletal mesh component again, and then in the anim tree template you want to put in your anim tree, and then in your morph sets down here you want to click the plus sign and plug in your morph set. You can close out of that. I'm gonna save my package real quick. Save as my package whatever. Open up Kismet, uh, make a new level loaded, new event, level loaded node, and also uh, make sure you have this, your, your morpher in the scene selected. Right click, say new matinee, plug the beginning of level into play in the matinee, make sure it's on looping just so you could watch it go over and over. Uh, double click on the matinee to open it, create a new skeletal mesh group, Say name it, say OK, right click on the thing you just created and say add new morph weight. Alright so you add your new morph weight and then what you want to do is add in a keyframe on your morph weight. Actually before we add in the keyframe what we're going to do is add our morph node name and our morph node name is going to be the same name that we used for this node right here so for me it was morph controller I'm going to plug that in there say okay close out of that and then on here we can add in a keyframe by hitting enter also check this little box right here to bring up bring it up here in the graph editor. Uh, I'm going to set up another keyframe here and then control click and drag or click on it first and then control click and drag to move this value up. I'm going to bring it up to 1 or again I could boost it up to like 5 and make it real intense but I just want it to be at 1. Um, and then I'm going to add one more and set that back down to 0. So when I scrub through this, it'll morph my target. Alright, so now I can close out of that. And then I can play the level and test it out. And there you have it. Morph targets.